you hit him. Good shot. Where did we make it to, Ross? We made it just barely to Colorado Deer Hunt 2022. Perfect. So we got here uh, probably an hour and a half ago. Got set up. It's cold already. It's cold. Um, currently 9.30. Rhett should get here at about 1 in the morning. And uh, we'll scout tomorrow and the next day. And then hunt opens on Saturday. We got two tags to fill, so hopefully we can, we can find something decent to throw those tags on and have a good time. Rat and Lance dumped quite a few points on this tag, probably about 14 points. So hopefully it lives up to being worth 14 points. So we'll see. So stick with us and we'll see if we can show you some deer tomorrow. We arrived early to make sure we had time to scout. The first two days were spent looking over a lot of different bucks and having a hard time finding a buck to specifically target for opening morning. We ended up finding a couple good bucks. However, they spent a lot of time on private land. The ranch hand eventually came over and spoke with us about this specific buck with a big back end. Knowing that he only crossed the river to stay on private land, he was unhuntable along with a couple other good deer. Opening morning, myself, Rhett, and Roger looked over probably 130 deer with a lot of decent sized bucks, but nothing we wanted to even really take a second look at. We ended up finding a buck that we had to make a quick decision on that you'll show here in the next clip. He's right there coming out skyline. Oh, yeah. Almost skyline to the right of that tree. Got him. Is I'd probably say no. No? I don't know. Hey. They always look better from the back. <whistles> you hit him. You hit him a little back. What happened, dude? Well. We were seeing, we saw a ton of deer today. Tons. Saw hundreds of deer today, 150 maybe, 120, 130. Mm -hmm. Came around a hill and we're glassing some does and then we noticed there was a big buck coming out behind him. So we got down, I got ready to shoot and Cash got on him and we watched him come up trying to decide whether or not to shoot him. He skylined and I let it fly, hit him about probably 50 20, yards 30 yards up the hill here and mm -hmm. i'm here walking up on him he's 30 yards up in front of me he didn't go 100 yards right there he lays let's go check him out dude come on oh man steep slick well that track wasn't his maybe look he slid right here. Yeah, kinda. he started rolling. Slid. He fell once. Blood here. Oh my gosh, I'm slipping like crazy. He's got a tiny little cheater on him. Kinda. Does he? Not countable. Hey, stickers, cheaters, I like them. High guards. Pick him up, dude. Dude, he's a nice buck. Oh yeah, look, exit. Yep, right that's exit. Right
Oh, Please there he go. goes. <laughs> He's trying to get away from you still. What do you think, Rog? I think he's great. Good oh, day, hey. huh? <laughs> That's Roger. You guys haven't met Roger yet. Roger. I don't think you guys have met Rhett yet, but this is my uncle-in-law, Rhett. He smoked him, dude. Old trigger finger himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's good Never buck. Did. We're going to get him taken care of to get some pictures, and we're getting back to the general and back to camp. We're not going to tell those other guys. We're going to surprise them, I think. So... Roger is Rhett's dad and Lance's dad. You'll meet Lance when we get back to camp. Rory, Rhett, and Lance are all brothers. That's their dad. I'm just along for the ride. So here we go. What's your name? Lincoln. This is Lincoln. There's Lance and Rory. This one's Lance. This is Porter. Say hello to the hello. people. Oh, it's blurry. There hello. we go. Uh, Dre's not in here. Neither. Rory, we killed him a buck a couple of years ago across the lake. killing Rhett's buck we split up into different groups and checked out different country that we haven't looked at yet myself and Rory ended up seeing this buck cross the road in front of us onto a private field after looking at him we ended up calling him the calendar buck because he's such a pretty buck With another good buck in the field, we ended up looking on Onyx and finding some public land just west of there that these bucks came from. We tried hunting them the next couple days with no luck because it was so thick and cliffy. We ended up moving on to different country. fourth day of the hunt we got a text from Rory after scouting the morning that they had a buck located and there was a road nearby they wanted us to swing by when we got there we could see them coming down the mountain to get set up on the buck
got him. Great shot, Lance. Oh, he's dead. He's 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 got bellied up. Popping somewhere? I don't know. Look at, He's big. Look at that neck, dude. Look, Look at that neck. stuff. He was swelled up. I noticed. He was all swelled up. Pull him up there, Lance. You better get all those, <laughs> whatever you call them, e bods. Or oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Ah, it's a stud. That is a cool bunk, huh? <laughs> Turn his head that way. What a stud. Tell us about it, Lance. Here's your interview. Oh, the interview, huh? Yeah. Well, you can't really see here. We spotted him about a mile and a half away up on the top of a big ridge and 2,000 yards. 2,000 yards. We ranged him 2,000 yards, but he was bedded down right here, so we ranged him. We probably dropped 1,000 feet elevation down here to get down and snuck into, what, 380? 370 something shot him at about 370. Nice Staring work. Out. Look at that. that fork. That's a big old front end, huh? That's a stud. He's probably only 130. Probably. <laughs> plus 55 inches. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. That was quite an experience. That was a cool experience. How oh, sweet. Having everybody here and Cool yes. Rory, you're gonna sleep good, aren't you? And an elk corn, look at that. Oh man. Okay, smile, one, two, three, go. Now we're going arm pump. Bam. We get back, we'll take more with the boys. Let's go. Go ahead. Scalpel. Cut all the fat with a brand new blade. I will now make the primary incision. <laughs> I'll now make an incision. <laughs> That's from guys like us. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. How come you guys weren't jumping around up there? At the shot? Yeah. Chong was you. I was. I was behind that. I was like, did he kill? Uh, oh, no. by 8.45, should make good time. Got us loaded here, we're gonna head, head home. for uh, following along on that video and I just wanted to say a quick special thank you to all of those guys for capturing such awesome footage over there and I just want to say thank you to them also for allowing me to put this on my channel so thank you to all of those guys over there this would be a type of dream hunt to me to be able to hunt big bucks with family and create memories for a lifetime uh, comment below on what a dream hunt for you would consist of. Um, also, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway here pretty shortly. I'm creeping up on a thousand subscribers and I'll do a giveaway when I get there. What would you like, guys like to see as a giveaway? 
helmet blow on that. I'm kind of thinking something like a rifle scope, but well, thanks for following along on this one and uh, like, subscribe, and comment blow on those things there, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.